Can 3D printed organs solve the worldwide organ shortage problem? 17 people die each day waiting for an organ transplant according to the Organ Procurement and Transplantation Network. But there is good news on the way. The realm of 3D printing has seen numerous innovations, but none as groundbreaking as the development at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Engineers at MIT have pioneered a method to 3D print robotic hearts that not only resemble a patient's heart in appearance, but also in function. The uniqueness of every individual's heart, especially those with heart diseases, poses challenges for treatment. And 3D printed organ replicas have been helping surgeons by being able to copy a patient's organs, creating an opportunity for a more informed procedure. In the types of procedures that I do, I think what it does is it gives me an opportunity to rehearse the procedure beforehand, which is very, very powerful. Because as opposed to me doing these procedures and, and inter engaging the various valves for the first time when I'm doing it on a patient, I could actually practice that outside the patient. And so I think what it does is it makes the procedures safer and faster but standard models often fall short in replicating the intricacies of a specific patient's heart. Recognizing this gap, MIT engineers embarked on a mission to create patient-specific heart replicas. The process begins with detailed medical imaging of an individual's heart. These images are then transformed into a 3D computer model. Using a specialized polymer-based ink, a 3D printer produces a soft, flexible shell that mirrors the exact shape of the patient's heart. But the innovation doesn't stop there. To simulate the heart's pumping action, the team designed sleeves akin to blood pressure cuffs. When connected to a pneumatic system, these sleeves can be rhythmically inflated, causing the heart replica to contract, mimicking the genuine heart's pumping action. Each patient with heart failure has a very different anatomy. Each heart is unique, and there's even more variation for patients with heart failure. The ability to replicate not just the heart's anatomy, but also its mechanics and physiology is what makes this innovation truly remarkable. One of the potential applications of these 3D printed hearts is in the treatment of aortic stenosis. This condition, affecting 1.5 million people in the US, involves the narrowing of the aortic valve, compelling the heart to exert more effort in pumping blood. Traditionally, a synthetic valve is surgically implanted to treat aortic stenosis. With MIT's 3D printed heart replicas, Doctors could potentially test various valve designs on the replica to determine the most suitable option for a specific patient before actual implantation. The research team utilized medical scans from 15 patients diagnosed with aortic stenosis for their study. Each patient's images were converted into a 3D computer model, which was then 3D printed to produce an anatomically accurate replica of the heart's ventricle and vessel. The results were promising with each model heart accurately recreating the heart pumping pressures and flows previously measured in each patient. While the potential of these 3D printed heart replicas is immense, their integration into clinical settings might take some time. For the system to be clinically viable, the replica heart would need to be manufactured, built, and tested within a tight time frame of 24 to 36 hours. This necessitates further advancements in 3D printing technology. One thing that we're doing differently is beginning to integrate chemical signals into the resins that we use. These chemical signals allow the 3D printed part to communicate to the cells that live on the surface of the 3D print. And in that way, the 3D print has a pre-programmed control over the genes that are expressed on the surface of the 3D print. MIT's 3D printed heart replicas represent a monumental step forward in personalized medicine. By providing a more accurate and patient-specific model, these replicas could revolutionize the way heart diseases are treated, paving the way for more effective and tailored interventions.